see like man, like growth happens through experience and time. I'm happy with the footage we, we, we need it, even though we need more footage. It's a lot on the line. It's a hundred grand. Now we'd like to understand how you generate revenue. And guys, no, I know you want these things. Trust and believe you can get these things if you go about it the right way. Some stretches on. Um, so yesterday, uh, I was going into this email. I mean, if you've been following me, you know that I'm building a company. It's a sports technology company, whereas, um, I just need to get some stretches. Just run around. So, I walk a little bit. Um, so, I'm, man, look at the skies. It's like clear blue skies right now. It's crazy. It's like a really, really beautiful day here. Um, so if you've been following me, you know that I'm building a company uh, it's dedicated for athletes. This company is dedicated for athletes to capture their sports journey, build a community, and then earn money from that sports journey. So I created this thing called the Dreamers Vault where uh, an athlete's complete video documentation is in one place instead of on dvds instead of in the cloud instead of some on instagram instead of some on facebook and people can subscribe to that journey to watch that athlete from when they start all the way until they become high school varsity college possibly pro so i've been here in the states working on um getting in getting my company into an accelerator and man it has not been going well so i've been denied from every accelerator uh tech stars black ambition well so this thing i was trying to get into called black ambition prize it's like an accelerator um they didn't let me in to the program I don't know. So in this whole, uh, this whole thing, like with this, this company, like it's just been like no after no after no. So I got into none of those, and it's it's more that I never that I had that I didn't get into, and that was the main reason why I came to the states is because, um, we need a check. <laughs> You know, we need a check. We need mentorship. You know, we need, we definitely need our first check, but we need mentorship. Uh, we need resources. We need, um, I need to be able to network with other founders. And up until this point, none of that has happened. So I've been rejected a lot. I've been rejected just emailing investors. So haven't got our first check. Yesterday, I received an email for an invite, got an interview while we sitting here talking about this for uh, Accelerator, uh, which is 100K for 5% of the company. And um, man, you look, these guys look hungry. <laughs> they just like looking, they look like they wanna eat me. So I received an invite for an interview and today, I'm gonna take you guys through that interview process so you can see what it looks like. Everyone out there should be building something. You should be working on something. You shouldn't be working on getting girls. You shouldn't be working on, hey, uh, dating. You should be working on something. You should be building something. So, yeah. So I'm gonna take my run and then, uh, go back to the house and do the interview.
good run. Good run. Definitely a good run. Whew. All right, so let's start work. I'll show you guys something real fast. Um, some of my work right here. This right here, I found this when I was home. And so I've been uh, documenting my life to some to, to some point, uh, some way. Uh, I've been documenting my life in some way f since like maybe like 2015. And then uh, I have other documentation like from high school, other uh, my coaches, my coach uh, taping the games. Um, and I found these right here, which is uh, some documentation. And I want to show you guys like, like where I come from, where, where, I came from like as a person um this one video is like me in 2005 I believe and um I'm trying to be uh a mogul um I'm trying to be a mogul music person and uh I started an independent record label this is after I come back from uh, playing basketball overseas. And um, that was my next, I know that was actually my first real entrepreneurial journey. And um, man, you can see like, man, like growth happens through experience and time. And I can watch this and like, man, like, wow, like I've came a long way. So when younger people, they just like think that everything is supposed to be like right now, I laugh because you'll grow so much through that process. And that's why I'm never like really too, too hard on young people. If they're, you know, not doing like no real bullshit or whatever, you know, I, I could care less because um, ultimately what hap what, what's gonna, what, what happen is they'll grow, but you just hope that, you know, young people don't make a, a crucial, crucial mistake that it just ruined their lives, you know? So, yeah, this was this yeah this was me um in two thousand and five. Yeah yeah yeah, in the box or whatever. I'm ready to sneak up on this rooftop, you know what I'm saying? Get this footage, you know what I mean, from an undisclosed place. You know what I mean? I can't tell nobody about this place. It's my link, so fuck you know. I love it. From 3.30 Coons Ave, can't forget where I'm from Most call it Buffalo, but we call it the slums And any nigga on my team will make you cough up my lungs, son This is a matter of fact Lose pieces of your head like you was wearing a track A nigga blend with the record like I'm wearing a track So they can got the gas nigga, favorite color is black And his guns in the stash like Buster had his strap And Rob Willie cop the K, niggas better know that Get down and lay down, fully automatic with unlimited rounds. I'm talking big guns, nigga, fuck four pounds. Heard niggas talking shit, it's a drum roll now. Yo, yo. Hey, we out, we've seen this come in. You know what I mean? Now we out, so. 
we're about to go chill, or whatever we're doing, you know what I mean? We're about to go chill, look at the footage, see what we're doing. Thinking of ways to make new money. You know what I mean? See how good the, the shots is, you know what I mean? We gotta come back here for another scene, you know what I mean? So, but we did it, we, we here. Thing, man, the roof, the rooftop scene, the stairwell scene, you know what I mean? Shit, this motherfucking Sugar, Sugar Ray Slim motherfucking production, you know what I mean? Now we do. It's for the DVD, you know what I mean? The Players Union album, you know what I mean? Make another dollar easy. Holla. I got this invite for a first interview to this accelerator right here. And right now, I'm going to go through, so it's, uh, I'll answer 13 audio questions. Um, that the recruiter has prepared for me. I want, first off, I really want people to be building something. I want them to, to be working on something. I see too much on the internet. Guys only talking about dating. Like guys only talking about um, ways that they can move out of the United States so they can date better women. And that should be far, 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 far from your mind. If you want, like, even if you do that and you move away from the United States to find a girl, you're still going to get a bottom feeder. It's just plain and simple. Um, like, I think people should be worried about getting fit and getting rich and building something and making impact. That's what people, the young guys, that's what they need to be. Even the older guys, that's what people need to be focused on. Like, I've always been about building something like from... Like I gave a lot to the game of basketball. Like I was building my career. Um, after that, building different uh, businesses and things like that. And uh, Project Swag giving you know impact and uh, building a container store. Like it's always been impact first. And women are a byproduct of success. Um, but more people, need, you know, guys need to focus on getting fit getting rich, chasing purpose, um, and, and dreaming bigger. Like, I, I just think guys do not dream big enough, man. Like, people dream big because you only get one time through this, <laughs> through this life. Like, like, why not just just give it your all. Like, why not leave everything on the floor? I just don't, I, I don't get it. You know, I don't get it. People want the easy way out and it is no easy way out. It's going to be pain regardless. It's going to be pain if you don't get the, you know, if you ain't making the money that you want to make. It's going to be pain if you don't have a girl that you want to have. It's going to be pain if you stuck in a place that you don't want to be, right? So you might as well take the pain of just, man, going all out and maybe suffering for two, three, four, five years so you can live better for the rest of that, the rest of your life. And the only thing with that is it's still no guarantee, but nothing is guaranteed, right? Nothing is ever guaranteed. So look, dream bigger and build something, build something. So I'm going to like, I'm going to show, and trust me, when it comes to this startup game, I'm a kindergarten. I'm a kinder, I'm like a kindergartner. I don't know what I'm doing. Like I'm failing miserably. I'm unsuccessful at this. Uh, I've got denied from every single accelerator. And you know, I got an invite to one, uh, like a, a three month mentorship uh, for something in Buffalo. But here's a chance for an, an accelerator. And look, I'm gonna show you the raw parts of the interview like you know like I've never did an interview where somebody was like hey I want to you know possibly invest into your business so I'm going to show it no matter what like like because I believe if I can do it from like what you just watched from a guy that thought you know like okay my basketball career is over so now I'm gonna be like cash money records and do an independent record label and I'm gonna rap as well right if I can do it you can do it too. And that's 
what I want to show. And that's why, you know, I, I didn't never know why I've been documenting everything, but maybe that's why to show like in real time, like, yo, or to go back and, and show like, look, this is what I was and this is what I am now. But man, you should be working on something. You should be building something. So I'm going to show you guys this process right here. And it's like, look, it's like, like instead of a live call, you'll be taking an online interview. Um, this means we, we pre-recorded some audio questions for you to respond to. You'll see what it's like to try to get in an accelerator. It's a lot on the line. It's a hundred grand on the line, a hundred thousand on the line. And, um, Man, I'm willing to share that with you guys. Also, what I have here, I have my pitch deck. This is my deck that I did. Um, you have to have a you have to have a pitch deck. Um, so this is my deck. For for tech stars, I made it to the data room uh, area, so um, I got a lot of information that I was you know that I needed to know for my business um kpis and um like the biggest obstacle of course you know describing my ideal customer um how do i acquire customers and then also right here is um like my financial model so i had to do this as well um and then also this right here is my my sales deck right so this is what I used to to sell customers. I had to do all of those things, uh, and you know, this is what I've been doing for the last two months while I've been here in uh, in the states, just you know, slowly learning how to build a, a startup company, and um, I think I'm ready for this meeting, and um, here we go. Perfect. Now that you understand how this works, we will keep moving. Please limit each of your responses throughout the interview to 60 seconds or less, as we will not review your responses beyond that point. In a few sentences, what problem are you solving? The problem that we're solving is athletes around the world are not reaching their full potential due to lack of exposure and financial support. Um, I'm one of those athletes and we have created a platform that helps athletes gain exposure, get financial support, and also capture their sports journey in one platform. Now we'd like to learn about your specific solution. Can you describe how your product or solution works and is it sold in the market yet? Our solution is building a video platform to, that's dedicated for athletes to help them uh, capture their sports journey, build a community, and earn money. Dedicated for athletes. Um, we are not currently in the market as of yet. We are building the platform, but we have done a lot of testing. And I you know we did do like an, an MVP where um, it was able to uh, capture an athlete's journey. And when someone subscribed to the athlete's journey, the athlete got paid by subscribing to watch their process of training, highlights, and just an athlete's story. So it's not currently in a market where we're building the platform, but we have tested an MVP and that's kind of where we are right now. Now we'd like to understand how you generate revenue. What is your business model? We receive a 10% transaction fee on all transactions. Uh, we have a free version of the platform, but then it's also a paid version, which is $7.99 per month, which has unlimited video storage that captures an athlete's journey from start all the way to possibly becoming pro. Then if someone wants to support an athlete, it's a button that says support my dream. They can subscribe to that athlete for $5.00 that money goes to support the athlete. The athlete can also do event donations where they might be going to a camp and they wanna raise money for that camp, but then the athlete can also launch their own products, t-shirts, wristbands, and things like that. And like I said, our financial motto is we earn 10% of all transaction fees on the platform and also the Dreamer premium account, which is $7.99 per month. 
Let's talk more about the user. Who is your target customer? And approximately how many potential target customers exist? So our target user is the athletes that are just starting out. And let's say a, an athlete that's in sixth grade and the parent is filming their games, they're filming their practices, they're filming them at home, and they both have this dream to make it to play varsity at high school, then make it to play college, then to make it to possibly a dream to play pro. Those are our target customers, um, an athlete that is just starting. But athletes around the world, which we feel that this will catch on and be attractive to, um, it's 450 million athletes that are around the world. It's a very, very big market. And athletes don't have a dedicated place to actually capture that sports journey and then get recruited and actually um, gain traction for their journey. Okay, just to help us connect the dots, can you share how you know your target market wants your solution? Yes. So just in talking to customers, I found that it's a large problem. First off, just the lack of just the lack of support. Um, kids raising money outside of Walmart. Um, parents that have phones that they're not using with footage of their kid because they have it documented and don't, they don't want to lose that footage. These are some of you know these are some of the problems. Specifically, in my time in in Colombia, I mean, really, really great athletes that don't have a platform to be able to tell their story and get exposure. So firsthand, I've you know talked to customers, I've experienced it, and I've seen that young athletes need this solution. Next up, we'd like to understand how you measure the growth and progress of your company, particularly over the last 12 months. Revenue is often the best indicator of growth, but we will consider other metrics too. With that in mind, can you share specific metrics around the growth and progress you have achieved so far, especially within the last 12 months? This is your chance to brag about your best traction. First, I need to go back and tell like how this started. This started because we, I wanted to support athletes and I wanted athletes to be able to have a platform to share their story. So this started with making inspired t-shirts by a kid that is playing uh, sports. So Miguel was a baseball player. We made an inspired shirt for Miguel. We sold 55 of those shirts. So then I wanted to see if I can just have a supporter support an athlete by their story. So then I did that with Harleen. I had a guy support Harleen for a skate competition. I had somebody support Miguel by um, paying for his, his training. I had uh, a a, a young lady named Angie. She was a, 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 a going to be an Olympian, and someone supported her. Now, then we had Noah, which is a football player in the United States. He like he actually, when we made the platform, he actually got people to purchase his subscription to watch his journey. So that made money. You have just a few more questions to go. How many full-time founders do you have and why are you the best team to bring your solution to market? So I am the only full-time founder, but we do have a founder's team. Um, and our founder's team consists of a guy named Bo Bell. He was a 13-year European basketball professional. And me personally, I played professional basketball in Argentina. And we are the team to do this because we know athletics, we know sports, and we also needed support for our journey. So we know exactly who our users are. We know exactly what our users want. We know exactly the pain point of our users. And we also know where our users are trying to go. So that's why we're the team to, to pull this off. In a, athletics alone, we have, you know, he, Bo Bell has 30 plus years. He has a basketball academy and I have 20 plus years just in sports alone as well. So that's why. Now that we know more about your team, what do you want to achieve during the accelerator and how can we best support you and your business? So I'm a new startup founder 
And I need mentorship. That's the first thing that I'm looking for. I need mentorship and resources and I need to learn how to pitch better. I want to engulf myself so I can build the best company that can possibly build because we want to make impact with this company. And also, you guys can help us with the investment because the investment shows us this is real. We haven't received any checks yet. And that would be such a boost to our morale and and and, and everything like to 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 that somebody believes in us. You know, that's what we're looking for in someone to to help us on this journey. Resources, uh, being able to teach us, you know, how to you know get investment and then the investment as well. Please tell us how much capital you've raised to date and what your fundraising plans are now and for the next six months. I started this journey and it wasn't an actual startup, but it still was all dreams, the company. And I put around fifty five thousand dollars of my own money into uh, building what it has become. And then my mother gave me maybe 10 grand. So we're like sixty five thousand dollars in. And outside of that, we haven't really raised any any money. Um, I don't particularly know how to actually raise money. I've pitched some investors, haven't really got any responses, but moving forward, we really want to bootstrap. So if we get an investment check, we want to build our platform and we have connections to like athletes that can, uh, be influencers and share our platform. But we really want to not raise a lot of capital unless we, you know, unless we really need it. We want to bootstrap. So fundraising is not our main goal. Thank you so much for taking the time to complete this interview. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you would like to share with us as we decide which startups to select for second round interviews? I would just like to thank you guys for this opportunity. This startup journey has been super, super hard. I am like a kindergartner and I'm excited just like a kindergartner going on a startup journey. So I just uh, really appreciate the opportunity um, to have this first interview and kind of get my feet wet. Um, I think we're building something very, very impactful. Uh, I'm sure uh, you guys either watch the NBA, NFL, Major League Soccer, uh, NHL sports is very, very huge and athletes need to have their stories told um, and need to have their stories captured with NIL and colleges being able to pay for sports. Athletics is a booming market and we believe we are the platform to bring this to the world where athletes can share their story. I'm excited. All right, we're done. All right, so I just completed all of the questions. I filmed it right there. This is this is pretty exciting. Um, I slipped up, but on some things, but you were able to re-record. But I think I did a good job. So, yeah.
So I want to talk about some things that I wrote down. Um, it's a lot of things I see on the internet. Uh, like just how people want like an easy fix. People want like, like I see these videos, people want to do any and everything besides building. They want to do drop shipping. They want to do crypto, um, IT. Like they just want an easy fix. And I'm gonna tell you like, it's just no easy fix to anything. Like you might as well get used to being comfortable because life is full of being uncomfortable. I mean, that's just what it is. Uh, see like I tell you one thing about me is like I've always been going after it no matter what you know like I've always been going after it and not on no cookie cutter shit like it's been real things relentless pursuit of whatever I've always wanted to go after and man like the internet is crazy because it just tries to give a lot of people bailouts when it is no bailout and the sooner people understand it is no bailout the sooner they'll get to where they want to get to right as soon as you know the, the sooner you say yo look I'm gonna pursue purpose uh, I'm gonna pursue impact that's the sooner you gonna get to where you want to be like I promise you know like you ain't gonna like nobody gets nowhere if it is no sacrifice. And the thing about it is, like, I'm telling my story, but my story does not even, it really doesn't um, correlate with your story. Your story is your story. A lot of people wanna follow other people. Oh, what did this person do? Like, you gotta think about it. Were you, are you in the same city are you in the same predicament? Do you have the same parents? Do you have, did you go to the same high school? Like, then stop following after everybody. Your, your journey is your own personal journey. Embrace that. Your story is your currency. Embrace that. Like, stop looking at everybody else and saying, yo, what this person did or what that person did. Like, yo, just go after what you wanna go after. Like, man, chase impact, man. Do something in the world that matters, you know? Money is great, of course, man. I love money. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, but you're talking to a person that have money, don't have money, have money, because I'm always investing in myself. I'm always putting it all on the line because I believe in myself. So the day that I be comfortable, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because I keep on putting myself in the line of fire for what I believe in and things that I want to do. You know, the things that I want to make impact with. It ain't no easy way. You know, that's that's really what I want to say. It's just, it, it is none. It is no easy way. And guys, like, I know. I know, man. I know. I know you want these things. But trust and believe you can get these things if you go about it the right way. Like, Put the work in, put the work in, think. Like, get off the internet and build, work on something. Man, go after it. You can do whatever you want, I promise you. Like, seriously. This is the world that you can do whatever you want. You can be whoever you want. Believe in yourself. And anytime I go down to, uh, to fix the Airbnb, I, um, I take this way because I love water so much. All right, so look, I just got down here to the Airbnb. This is the last part of my day. Uh, we just had somebody stay at this Airbnb uh, and um, somebody's coming tomorrow. So I got to come and clean it up. So I'm doing a walkthrough right now to see what needs to be done. Okay, not bad, not bad. A little cleaning in here. Um, rubs 
stairs real fast. So, all right, so this is not bad. Tiles, see, look, I love good guests that just don't mess up the house, you know what I'm saying? Like they just, they pretty clean. Um, don't leave too much mess. Cause this is easy to clean up. This is nothing. So we got, they put in, they put the stuff into the, the laundry bin. So look, this is day two um, of my new style content. And um, this was my day in the life. So uh, I'm about to clean up this Airbnb and then go edit this video so I can put it out so you'll see it tomorrow. Um, man, I hope you guys are liking this longer form content. We only on day two. I'm gonna try to be consistent, even if I'm making a five minute video with a GoPro. Um, but I want my audience to get to um, know me more authentically. And that's in, in showing you guys this journey of where I come from to where I'm going and things I'm doing. And hopefully I can inspire somebody that comes from where I come from, type of same type of situations, whether it be um, the ghetto or whether it be um, uh, middle class or even upper class that they can go out and do anything that they want to do in the world. So that's my goal with my channel and man, keep watching. And if you watched it, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Peace.